Also, if you're the kind of person who would stay in a boiling pot of water as long as it was slowly brought to that temperature and you wouldn't jump out, if things got dangerous slowly, you would stay. Maybe you should, maybe a frog tattoo. Probably my most requested tattoo idea is a anything to do with like a frog tattoo. Frogs, for some reason, are getting very popular these days. I, I can't decide yet if I recommend getting a frog tattoo. I've got a little tree frog uh, right here. He's like a little green and orange guy. And I did have like a frog obsession when I was a younger boy. I thought the, I thought the, the jumping and the, the poison dart frog in particular, which apparently jungle folk would dip their needles in the, they would, they would, they would microwave a poison dart frog and then rub uh, their needles on it and then poke their enemies uh, with that way. And I always thought, that, that was very inspiring to me. Frogs are a good example of something that is technically good, but is like a little bit dirty also at the same time. Like, it kind of reminds me of spiders. They both like eat bugs, but they're still bugs. They're both little things that you don't want around. And, but if you have some frogs around and they're making noises around your house, it can be, it can be entertaining. Uh, and it can help you fall asleep at night as well. So if you like the sound of frogs and or crickets, I, I found a fun fact was that the frog, some frogs you can hear from a mile away. Now I don't know if that's just they can hear themselves from a mile away, and that's and their voice is maybe uh, in, is maybe not loud enough. Maybe not. Maybe it's a bad frequency for people, and I and I ha and maybe I mis misunderstood. But anything you can hear a mile away, that's pretty impressive. I, I, I don't think I could yell for a mile. That's a long yell. So good for frogs. They've also got that tongue that's also long. And the catching of bugs is like a classic trait that people, everybody admires about the frog. Is just that quick, like, I'm going to get that thing that I want over there that seems out of reach. You know, if you're the kind of person who, who quickly achieves things that seem out of reach, then maybe a frog tattoo is fitting. Problem being that they're eating bugs, you know, and basically that's up to you on how, to, how you want to interpret that. I don't like bugs. So anything that a frog, if you're the type of person, right, anything that you're going for that seems out of reach but you can get it quickly, I mean, is it gross? Are you achieving things that are gross that you think you could? Okay, anyways. So just be careful about the types of symbols that you're using and what you're... I've been, I've been worrying lately that maybe a lot, the, all of these symbols could be corrupted in some ways. So we gotta find the good where we can. If you're a jumpy person, if you have like a lot of anxiety, and if like you get scared easily, that's frogs, right? And that could be a charming trait, and it could be something that you love about yourself and that you'd like to symbolize in a tattoo. That's fine, do your thing. I don't even think being anxious or worried easily or getting scared easily is necessarily, not necessarily, a bad thing. You know, some people get scared easily, but it really just translates to a high perception. They, they can, they, they see too much. There's a lot of people who just, can tell that danger is constantly coming and then they just jump out of the way quickly. And that's amazing. That's a survivor's mentality. And if you've got one of those, consider a frog tattoo. You know, a scared person in the current reality could be the only person who makes it through the apocalypse. I don't like to think that we're gonna enter it or that, we're, that, that this is that, that the apocalypse, but in if it were frog people, could exist if it were a nuclear option. Now we've got the, there's, now there's the, so there's the frog prince, right? Now this is a classic story of the lady who falls in love with a frog and then after she marries him, he turns into a prince and she's rewarded for seeing past the beauty complex. Hey! So if you don't, if you, if you, if you're a princess or a, and in other cultures, it's the prince that marries the frog because they're trying to show it's actually traditionally it's supposed they flip it disney likes to flip things to trick you into being satanic but basically the actual story was a prince 
met a frog and the frog lady it's, it was like a it was a it was a young lady frog basically and the frog just helped him do a bunch of tasks so he married her he was like wow i'm i can't, nobody's ever helped me so much cuz even though he's the prince, so I don't know what the... But so he married her, and then she turns into a beautiful princess. And it's like, see, young men, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And basically, that's not how reality works, and pretty much what you get is what you're looking at. And, 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 it, and it wasn't ever supposed to be like a... It wasn't supposed to be like you kiss the frog. It was, sometimes it was like... Sometimes it was just let the frog into your home. Sometimes it's it was marry the frog, and that's... Now, I can see the concerns with... But if you marry something before you've ever had without having any physical attachment to it, that's not bestiality. But kissing a frog before you marry it and it turns into a human, that is bestiality and we can't support that. So unfortunately, if you're getting the tattoo because you like kissing frogs, well, that's also a great reason to get the tattoo, but I would just say I don't support that. Frogs in theology, I guess, have like a lot of wisdom Frogs are super old. Apparently, they have been around longer than the dinosaurs. And they or, or longer than the dinosaurs, technically, because we still have them. So congratulations to the frogs as well for that. And another, another, just another proof of the concept for the survivor aspect. Hey, if you're a survivor, if you're a wise survivor, consider a frog tattoo. Now, I am concerned. No, okay. First, before we get to the concerns... I like, I like that there is a clear, okay, so here's, so it's kind of, here, some, so I, what I like, I, frogs are apparently feminine, I googled the Spanish, and it's, which is a, a it's an A at the end, which means that, that it's the feminine, for, uh, Ron, frog, so that, I learned something, and I thought it, so I thought about, so, in ancient Egypt, the goddess of uh, reproduction was a frog lady. And I think frogs are sort of representative of that too, the reproductive cycle, because they've got those evolutions, those changes. You know, even more so than, than the butterfly effect with the cocoon is the frogs with the tadpoles and then the, and then the transition. So, I mean, the ladies gotta love seeing nature at work and that's what they that's what they grab onto that and I, I appreciate that about them but i don't appreciate that it's sort of like like femininity in it in its whole frogs have sort of been uh uh taken by the trans agenda so be careful with that as you, you for clear reasons you know just just if you it's it's it might technically be a gate tattoo because of trans isshining frogs. So, and then uh, apparently I heard something on the news about how they're putting chemicals in the water and it's making frogs gay. So again, I would just think about that when you're getting a frog tattoo that it might actually be a gay tattoo and that's okay. It's okay to get a t gay tattoo because tattooing is gay. But we just have to go, that's not me though. And then we, and it follows, and it, and it flows through us and in and out of us. And apparently good luck, prosperity. These are things associated with frogs. Now also I noticed that there were some people in the Miyazaki movies, those, those workers in Spirited Away. They kind of looked like frogs, and I googled it, and it was a pretty basic explanation. But I liked it because it's because it's uh, if because the the apparently the it, when he went to a thing the the Mia the, the 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 guy who made the Spirited Away he went to a thing, and there was some guys there, and they said they love his movie. We'd like to give we'd like to be a part of making your movies with you, and he said they looked like frogs. He said all these all these men in business suits looked like frogs to him. And I would just say that people who look like frogs, uh, it's like the old parable with the scorpion on the frog's back. And then when they get to the other side of the river, he kills him and he's like, hey, I'm a scorpion. It's like that. If you meet a person who looks like a frog and he acts just, he's like, hey, I look like a frog. So I would say overall, if you want to get a, 
I would say overall, if you want, I would say overall, if you want to get a frog tattoo, you should get one. And if you don't, just don't get one. Frogs apparently don't drink water. They absorb it through their skin like we do with ink.